Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Please consider liking this video. When you like this video, you support the work that I'm doing in this video. And of course, this video is going to be recommended in YouTube platform. And again, it is going to reach more people when you like this video. So do me a favor, ensure you like the video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a few updates here and unexpected uh, things that are going to happen on Sunday during the burial of the CDF boss, General Francis Ogoda. We are being told that he had his own wish. When he was going to die, when he was still alive, he gave his wish to the family to ensure that those are the things and you know tomorrow on Saturday there will be a 19 gun salute that is going to be led uh, with William Samuel Ruto then after that the burial to happen in Siaya County Alego Usonga near now According to the late Chief of Defense Forces, General Francis Ogoda, will be laid to rest without a coffin. That is number one. He will be laid to rest without a coffin in accordance with his will and wishes. His elder brother, Canon Ezekiel Duro, has disclosed to Kenyans. And according to his brother, Canon Oduo revealed that the Sunday burial will be a very simple burial, which that was according to the wish and the will of the CDF boss, General Ogola. And uh, why the late General Ogola wished to be entered with 72 hours of his passing. Yani, in a manisha, Kwamba, ilikuwa akikufa azikwe kwa masa chini ya ishirini na saba. Seven, within 72 hours, akwe amezikwa. In that period of his passing. So, he further shared that his brother had even shown him the exact spot for his burial near his house in Moore village, Siaya County. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the late General Ogola envisioned a simple ritual burial akin to Muslim practice where he will be wrapped in sheets, a decision made to elevate what he described as unnecessary pressure on the family. Now, despite the simplicity of the burial, other law rituals will be observed. Canon Oduor extended an invitation to those who wish to mourn with them to join either in spirit or physically, assuring that there is enough food for all types of visitors. So now, ladies and gentlemen, at a time, that there's something that is happening. I remember also the late Wangari Madai also left her wishes and what she wanted her family to do. And remember, Wangari, uh, Wangari Madai was a leader of this country. When she died, she was buried with not that kind of uh, things that are so expensive in terms of coffin, all those kind of things. And in fact, she, she said that as Zikwe, na kitu chochote ki metengenezwa na mti. Ile inatoka kwa miti ni mbao, alikata. So, it's like General Gola also had his, uh, of course, his wish, one, he was to be buried 
under 72 hours in that period of being buried, uh, uh, passing on. Then number two, he is not to be buried uh, with, of course, casket. He is not to be buried with a coffin. Let me say a coffin. Because the reason he's saying that is because, one, he doesn't want his family to be so much in pressure towards buying expensive things that are unnecessary for him. Another thing, he's going to be wrapped using sheets, you know. And the burial is going to have a kind of uh, example of uh, Muslim practices, but it is SK that is going to take over the burial. So it is going to be simple, no a lot of exaggerations of expensive things, and that is what the family is telling uh, is telling Kenyans. But now I know some people are asking themselves, and even some do not know when he's going to be buried. He's going to be buried on Sunday, 21st of this month. Then, 19 gun salutes is going to be done tomorrow. And it's going to be led by William Samoyuto together with other generals. Then after that, his body is going to be taken to Syria for a burial on Sunday where no coffin should be seen in that burial. <laughs> no coffin should be seen in that burial. Number two, no expensive clothes. Izi makoti, suji viatu, suji nini apana. According to his brother, is that he's going to be wrapped. He's going to be wrapped. I know they will just do in a way of Muslim, atarapiwa na ekwena, kile kitu kinawekwa, wanaeka bedere ju. So that is whatever is going to happen. And even Kenyans are being shocked. You know, those who uh, never knew what the wish and the will of Ogola was, because it is the family that usually have the will and the wish of their own king. Then after the, de uh, the, de the death, it is the family that always come out and tell us that um, uh, this is what we were told by the late. Then we should follow in accordance to giving him or her respect. That is something that always happens in different families. As you know that also we were having Muslims when you are like generous apopia, when you are kufa pamoja na the CDF. So our now pia wamizikwa leo. In fact, after ilichelewa. Walichelewa sana because you are the Muslim practice in a kwamba, kwamba you die, you be buried now. Kama hata bado, mwili kofreji. Unazikwa sahi. That is the practice of Muslim. But we as Christians, we usually take time. You know, I, I remember a long time ago, <laughs> mutu angekufa, then this will take even one week. Yes, one week, just for preparation. Some even take two weeks. But most of the time, it is almost one week. Kama ni mingi sana, one week. But kama maneno, financially, the people are not uh, stable, they usually go for even one week or two weeks. Kwa hii, shugulia mchango, mchango. But those who are well off, who are in Amalizanga kama ni mingi sana, five days, or... What they usually follow come on Sunday, you know. Those who are in summer, they usually they can bury on Sunday. But those who are in Sun, uh, those Christians, when you are in a church Sunday, they cannot bury on Sunday. But it is a shock that now things are changing because Ogona is a Christian and is going to be buried on Sunday. And the reason why he's being buried on Sunday, it is because of the hours in Yalepatiana, the family. That lazima azikwe under 72 hours akwe amezikwa kwa zeyo time yenyalikuwa amekufa sasa wanaisabu 
then asi ziko na coffin then akwe wrapped uh, uh, with sheets so that is what uh, the decision that was made to alleviate what he described as unnecessary pressure of his family ladies and gentlemen what do you think drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much because of your great support please consider subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video bye bye till you meet in another video